Right on in. Oh, yeah. Not a keeper, but yeah. not a little baby either. Fun to catch. Yeah. Everybody's on. Yep, there he is. Okay. So just let him go. Hang on a second. I'm going to come over to the other side of you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Sand Dog Kayak Adventures. I'm Glenn, and today we're with Paul and Charlie. Came down from Carlsbad. They made the long... What is it to Carlsbad? Like 25 miles? 30 miles? Yeah, 30 miles. They made the long 30-mile trek down south to go fishing in Point Loma. So the tide is set up against us, so what we're going to do is... Uh, Paul's experienced on the water. He's fished here for a long time. He knows what's going on. So him and Charlie are going to hang a left and go towards where we're going to be fishing because the tide is getting ready to go out. So I'm going to go to the bait barge, get the bait, and then I'm going to go against the tide to catch up with them. And it's going to be awesome. So uh, they're going to head down there. I'm going to meet them down there with some bait, and then we're going to catch a whole bunch of fish. bit chasing it around all right guys as you can tell I've got a lively bait on he's going bananas but uh, just some helpful halibut tips for you guys um, I've told you some of this stuff before but in case you haven't heard it um, the way it's set up around here it's rock sand eelgrass sand okay what I mean by that is right there we have rocks just below that for the first few feet it's sand and then for the next 15, 20, 25, 30 feet, depending, it's eelgrass. And then directly below me is sand. So you want to find that eelgrass line. And if you're picking up eelgrass, it's not a big deal, man. Pick up the eelgrass, take it off, move out five yards. If you're not picking up eelgrass, now you're in the perfect spot. So that's all you do. Halibut tip number 
1003. It goes rocks, sand, eelgrass, sand. That's where you want to fish for that halibut, is on that second patch of sand next to the eelgrass. Good luck, guys. Paul got himself another fish. Dude, I love that rod. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, you're good. More fish. More fish. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a spotty. He's a lots of head shakes. Whatever it is, got a little bit of weight. That's nice. Oh no, it's another halibut. He's not a keeper. Not a keeper. But we'll flip him in and uh, undo the hook and let him go. I know, bro. Moving on up and right on in. Whenever you're ready. We'll do a little GoPro action. How you doing? And he will swim off. <laughs> and he will splash the crap out of me. All right, one of the beautiful things about this rig, as you guys just saw, uh, that halibut swallowed the hook. So I don't want to rip it out and kill him. The beautiful thing about this rig is cut the treble hook off. You've got your J-hook's still on there, your Carolina Keeper's still on there, all you do, wrap your finger one time, pull the Carolina Keeper up, and tie on another treble, and your rig's good to go. Boom. How you doing, brother? I'm doing better than I deserve. Any luck? Uh, zero. Zero for uh, Charlie and Paul just got this first spotty. We've been fishing for probably about 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I think still. Yeah, this. Up, say again? Good luck. Oh, you too, brother. Love your videos, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. You'll be on the next one. I was recording. Oh, no. <laughs> Usually lots of head shakes as a bass, the spotties. If they start digging, that's kind of the... Is it Allie? Right on. Does he look like he might be a keeper? If it is, keep his head in the water. It... About the same size as mine? Woo! Someone was not liking being next to the boat. Someone was not liking being next to the boat. Yeah, I think you can flip him in. And now he goes bananas. Watch your reel, don't dunk your reel. Oh yeah. Not a keeper, but not a little baby either. Fun to catch. Yeah, you should be able to grab him like a taco, basically. Back of the tail and the front by the gills like a taco. Like this? Yeah, they are a little slimy. There you go. 
Oh, hold on. I'm zoomed way in. Hold on. There we go. Dude, that's freaking awesome. All First right. tally ever. What do you say, Charles? Right by that buoy's where he hit me. Yep, dude, I'm, all this, all, as soon as the eelgrass ends and the and the sand starts, that's where they hang out waiting for little fish to... Yeah, he was biting. Oh, dude, they're all... They I know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys hook into a nice one because then it's just like... <laughs> 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 that was fun, Charles. You get into that action, Charles. Oh, he will. We just, like Ooh. I said, we just keep dragging him around and... All right. Now you know my secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on. Everybody's on. Nice and smooth. See how I keep the bend in the rod? I just sort of lift. Oh, he wants to go down, then whoop. Coming out the out front. This guy's got a little oomph to him. Doubled up. Doubled up. Yep, he's just a fired up spotty. Here's me. Yeah, I know, it's a nice one. Now lift the rod straight up over your head once you let the line out. There you go. There you go. And now you can stick it in the rod holder so it's out of your way. Yep. Wait, lift that up. That's a that's a sand bass. Yep. Nice. Can you see him yet? All right, just keep that, keep the bend in the line. I'm gonna come over there right now. He's on. The pressure on the line, keep that, the bend in the line a little bit. All right, hang on. I got you. About to figure this out. Hang on a second. Lift him up a little bit so I can see him. Point the rod kind of at me. There you go. Let's see how big we're. Find him in the water to see if you move it up. Yep, there he is. Okay. So just let him go. Hang on a second, I'm gonna come over to the other side of you. Pretty sure there's a keeper. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be your keeper, bro. Are you kidding me, Charlie? Uh, pedal at me and go right. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, almost 25. Now, there you go. Hold him over your boat because every now and then, see how his lips ripping a little bit down here? Over the boat, over the boat, in case he falls off. There you go. You're gonna get some pictures, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Hang on a second. Now hold on one second, I get moved my... It'll be a perfect thumbnail. Charlie, show the show the sailboat guy. Look at this guy. 25 incher. That's dinner. Oh, it was it was uh, fighting him. <laughs> Comes off. Now he ain't going nowhere. You start dunking him. Keep the get all the blood out because blood is what makes a fish the fish fishy. And now that he's attached to my boat and this thing, he ain't going nowhere. So you just dunk him till all the blood's out. He tastes extra good. Your first halibut? Right on. Dad's first halibut and his first halibut. First day? His first halibut is 25 inch. I don't know, Charles. Dude, that's what I'm... Yeah, I just... Normally I have a little knife, but I brought the wrong tackle. Well, not the wrong. I swapped tackle boxes and did put my little knife in. And normally I just cut them. Really easy. There's a line right here yeah. that literally you follow. And there's the same thing on the other side, basically. Oh, okay. And then, the yep, and then he's just right down the middle, and then you just one, two, three, four, two on each side. Well, guys, another very successful sand dog trip. Everybody caught fish, everybody caught halibut. Charlie, just turned 14, gets the keeper of the day. 
Yeah, you guys want to try your hand at uh, some halibut fishing out here in San Diego Bay on a Hobie kayak? Give us a buzz. Last time, 13-year-old kid got a keeper. This time, 14-year-old guy got a keeper. So if you ever wondered if you can catch a halibut, you can. Come on out. Let's go slay some butts, boys and girls. You.